hey you guys what's up so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to apply your foundation like a pro so grab your foundation let us do this thing together so you want to make sure you have the right shade of foundation because if you don't have the right shade of foundation your face is not going to blend with the entire part of your neck or something the foundation that i'm going to use in this video is the nice soft matte foundation now you want to make sure that your skin is prepped i can do another video on you prepping your skin before foundation just so you have an idea of what to do so let's jump right into this thing so you want to make sure you have a stapling brush to staple in your foundation or you want to make sure you have a beauty blend that i'm going to start by stapling in that foundation you see what i'm doing i am kind of dabbing that foundation but while i am dabbing that foundation in i'm also moving the brush like this so it's kind of not staying on one spot but it's kind of moving as well you can see where i just applied my foundation how it looks nice and matte and smooth so i went ahead and i applied my foundation just i concentrated the product just right here i did not apply any foundation on my forehead why i don't like to apply foundation on my forehead it's because i don't want to go through the process of blending and you do not want a situation that when you apply your foundation you have this line of demarcation around your forehead so whatever is left on the foundation brush that is what i use to apply on my forehead just watch you do not need so much coverage on your forehead unless you have um, hyperpigmentations on your forehead or maybe dark spots that you're trying to cover up then you can apply foundation on your forehead so you can see like my forehead I barely have foundation on my forehead but it looks well blended in together so in this segment of the video I'm going to show you guys how to apply your concealer now concealer is something that is optional some people do not like so much product on their face so it's all up to you so for you who love concealer underneath your eyes or to highlight then you want to stay tuned so the concealer that I'm going to use is the NARS radiant creamy concealer and this is in the shade caramel so to highlight my face I normally highlight my um my chin go underneath my eyes my forehead and the bridge of my nose because that is the point where i want light to hit So that is my concealer already applied. So if you're one of those who have a nose like mine that has this, you know, indentation right here, you may want to apply concealer as well and just set it. Now, in order to blend your concealer, I am going to use a damp beauty blender. You can use a sponge, you can use a brush, whatever your preference is. But I'm going to use a damp beauty blender. I love using this because it gives me a very smooth effect and it has a very nice blend out look. So I'm going to start by blending my chin first before I move to the other part of my face. Let's go. You see how that light looks nice and blended? It gives me a highlighted look on my chin. So what I'm going to do now is take the bottom part of my of my beauty blender. I'm just going to go around the perimeter just so that everything looks nice and blended with the foundation. You want to make sure it blends properly. That's what we have. Now we are going to start blending my forehead and the bridge of my nose. And you can see that I am basically just dabbing in that product i am not moving it around at all so i am blending it just around the same spot that i actually applied it there you have the forehead already blend. now we are going to blend out the bridge of our nose you want to make sure you're not moving your product let it stay put on the same spot so that is why i tend to squeeze my beauty blender in order to blend So now that my forehead is blended, the bridge of my nose is blended, we are going to blend our under eyes. When you want to start blending the concealer underneath your eyes, you want to start along the perimeters of your face. Because the most important thing is you want the product to be concentrated underneath your eyes, that's where you want it highlighted the most. So when you start along the perimeters of your face, you have a very nice blended look and then you tend to concentrate the formula just underneath your eyes. See what I'm going to do. See how that already looks nice and blended i'm going to now blend the perimeter just around now 
Now you can see how everything looks nice and blended around the perimeters of where I applied the concealer. That is what you want to have. Now we are going to start by blending underneath our eyes. We want to tend to keep that product in there as much as possible. So all you need to do is to just blend on top of that product without moving it around. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to look up and I'm going to start just dabbing in. Just like so. Just like so. So that product stays on one spot. It doesn't move around the place. There you go guys. What do you think? Just do the same thing on this side. So here we go guys. Everything is looking nice and blended. You want to make sure that your concealer is nice and blended. The trick here is to make sure that your concealer dries down just a little bit before you start to blend. Because if the concealer does not dry down a little bit, you're going to move the product around. So let it sit for a minute or two before you start blending. But first you have to make sure that you know what kind of concealer you're working with, okay? Now to set your concealer is very important. If you don't set your concealer, it is going to crease on you guys. Your makeup is going to look like it's falling off your face. So you want to make sure you set your concealer as much as you. Now the setting powder I'm going to use is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I love the setting powder. So I'm going to use the same blending brush, that the same uh, sponge that I used to blend out my concealer. All I need to do is to take some of that product on that sponge right there. You can see how much product I have. I'm going to start setting underneath my eyes first because that is the part that tends to crease the most. All right. So I'm going to look up a little bit and I'm going to push that product into my skin. feel like you need some more you can see how that looks nice and smooth unlike this other side Woo! that's the power of makeup I know my face now looks like a white cast but that is totally fine when you're going to fix it so when you set your concealer this is how your face should look like at the end of the day make sure you also set around your nose how to apply your bronze i know some of us don't like that contouring story so i love to bronze and the bronze that i'm going to use for you guys today is something that i've wanted to show you guys for a very long time and this bronze just came out and this is from Juvia's Blue and this is their very recent formula and this is the bronze palette and this is in the shade tan it comes with two different shades in this and it comes with a mirror as well I love 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 this so I'm going to use a brush like this it has like a slant that is what you want to use to bronze because it's going to help pocket cheeks and place the product in the right position so see what I'm going to do I'm going to suck in my I'm going to suck in my cheeks just so that I have that line where I know I'm supposed to end with my bronzer, just like so. You can see that line right there. That is where you want to place your bronzer. Let's go. Do you see that? Also want to bronze your forehead when you're bronzing your forehead you want to bring the products down like this it's going to give you a nice blended look than when you do this okay so bring it down in this format like so you see how my forehead already looks nice and bronzed see makeup is beautiful and then do not also forget this part right here you want to make sure you give your jawline the love Okay, so I look very nice and bronze. I also want to bronze my nose. I want that, you know, I want to contour my nose just a little 
expect you know what i mean i'm going to use the same brush i don't use anything different i'm going to use the same brush but what i'm going to do is to squeeze it up just like this i am not taking any more product i'm using whatever is left on the box on the brush to contour my nose so this is what i do you can see that right there Woo! and then do it the same side on the other side just like so you can already see that my nose is already looking like I have a good nose bridge, which I don't really have, but that's right. So that is what you want to see at the end of the day. So the next thing that I want to show you guys is to set your foundation. I know most of us tend to forget to set our foundation, but it is very important, especially nowadays when we put on the mask. You want to make sure that your foundation stay put as well. So the setting powder I'm going to use this is the one from Fenty, and this is the Fenty Instant Retouch Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Honey. So all I'm going to do is to take the bottom part of my beauty blender. Okay, I'm going to dip that in there. See how much product I got. I'm going to step in, in the excess in here and then I'm going to now set my foundation so any part that you didn't set with the powder uh, with the setting powder that is where you want to apply this one last thing that I love to do before I completely do my face is I love to try to bring out some cheekbones I don't have I look around and my style is perfect, but I love a little bit of cheek. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my setting powder and then I'm also going to put some on the bridge of my nose. What I'm going to do is to wipe off all of this. So here we go with the final look guys. I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please leave me a comment down below and also leave a good thumbs up as well. So thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you for those who have newly subscribed. Thank you for those who are about to. You're welcome to IG Transformation. Please follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, and also on YouTube. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Take good care of yourself. Remember that you are the original. There is no further copy of you. There is no counterfeit of you as a matter of fact. Bye guys. And just so you guys know, I do have a video for this particular eyeshadow look. So please, just give me a minute. I'm going to edit it and drop it right after this video.